Hey, what's up, friends? Ray with Doc and Timberworks. And uh, we got a quick little DIY barbecue project that we're gonna throw together real quick and easy. Bought everything from Lowe's. Don't really need any tools. I cut one six foot piece of angle iron down to two foot sections with a little zip wheel. That's really the only tool I used. So here we go. So this is a quick and easy down and dirty backyard barbecue pit. I don't have the money, uh, spare money available right now for a Santa Maria style pit, which is what I would really like. Those are anywhere for a decent one, 1500 on up to, you know, you can spend five grand on one. So this is 150 bucks, everything available at Lowe's. You know, cinder blocks, uh, end cap blocks, expanded metal, and a little piece of angle iron. By two stacks high, this is 36 by 24 expanded metal. It's just going to go on right there. Bring it out to the edge. This little angle iron here, just to give it some support. And then I want. Another layer of shelf up. This is a poor man's way of controlling the heat. You know, if it's getting too hot, you can put the stuff up on the second shelf. If you want it seared, put it back down on the lower shelf. Uh, it's got a nice base down there. You can move your coals around. Yep, I'm shy. Well, if you do a little bit better planning than me, it'll be better. There it is, DIY fire pit. You can scoop and move the coals around with a shovel. Like I said, here's the main cooking surface. Here's the secondary heating, warming, whatever you need. All right, here we go, friends. We got the first burn in going. And get all the lubricant and whatever that was on the metal, burn that all off of there. We got some nice little maple firewood going. Smells good. I'm not going to cook nothing on it tonight, just burning the crap off the grill. <laughs> 